While fishing in the Florida Keys, this fishaholic found himself inches from a shark encounter. Published by Fishaholic Fishing in March of 2021, the GoPro footage of this fishing trip turned up more than one fisherman expected. The man is on the ocean in a kayak, reeling a catch in, when he realizes he bit off more than he could chew. A shark that looks like it could be a great white butts up against his kayak, causing a splash and scarring the fisherman enough to call it a day. Got him out. Oh my gosh! Holy sh! Oh my! What? We gotta break this off. Oh my! Although incidents like this in the Florida Keys are rare, there have been a few non-fatal shark incidents in recent years. 75 Nova Guy noted in the comments, I honestly don't know if I could have kept fishing. Every time I'd go to grab a fish from the water, I'd imagine that shark getting the fish and my arm. Alright, holy Excuse my French, that is, was just insane. What a crazy sporadic little bite in the last 15 minutes we've been getting onto. A big tarpon, then we got the jack, uh, like a nicer side, another nice tarpon, then the grouper, and uh, then a freaking shark. Picture this, you're having the time of your life when all of a sudden this enters. That's what happened in this video posted to the ghost subreddit. By spiders are disgusting. The redditor explains that the video was filmed by a friend of his friend's brother a few years back. The video shows one of the group jumping from the house into a pile of bedding atop a trampoline. Upon first watch, everything seems normal and a lot of fun. But watch the upper left-hand spot right outside the trampoline. A semi-transparent figure in white appears to crawl out from under the trampoline and prance off. The way the black-haired ghost girl moves gives me chills. Who is this girl? Theories in the comments range from a person camping out below the trampoline to a kid playing beneath it, but most agree that the way the figure is dressed is just too odd to be either. Is this a ghost girl startled from her napping place? I think she might be. What must be going through your mind when you're about to break into a neighborhood home and you suddenly have a change of heart? Posted by Christopher John, this suspect experienced an epiphany while scouting out a pensioner's home. The home security footage captured the hooded man with a flashlight outside the 76-year-old's house at around 1.30 in the morning. The suspect approaches the front door. There he spots the woman's security camera which stops him frozen. He shines his flashlight on the camera's lens, likely trying to block its view of him. The CCTV camera had been installed not long before this incident and the woman's son believes if it hadn't been there. The suspected burglar would have gone ahead with his plan. He said he posted the video to raise awareness of increased incidents like this made in their small town. The countryside village is reputed to be quiet and secure, which makes this alleged attempted invasion all the more shocking. If you're told that this space is haunted, you'd better believe it. Published by Chris Ramirez in December of 2014, this guy was told that by many, but he doubted it, and now he finds himself regretting his decision to spend the night there. Talking to the camera from a boiler room fitted with a toilet, the cameraman says that he's been hearing stuff all night. He casts the camera back and forth around the room and lands on a dollhouse. He says he saw a little girl over there. Last time I seen a little girl, she was over there behind that little dollhouse, man. Walking over to check behind the dollhouse, he says there's nothing there now. He scans the room again. A shadow figure appears to be standing in the corner, but he doesn't acknowledge it. And when he turns all the way back around to look at his spot in the light, he sees this. The girl is there after all. What the fuck? Holy Ever wonder what it would be like to have the elevator you're in free fall? Published by Paul Kinchelow in October of 2013, you're about to find out. 
The scary video shows the area below an elevator. An open door reveals a heavy cord hanging down. Everything is silent. Then the lift suddenly comes falling down. The elevator blows past the doorway, ramming into the ground below. A ramming into the ground below. It collides so hard the elevator's ceiling tile pops off and hangs there. It looks like it fell from only a floor or two. Imagine the impact when falling from the 102nd floor of the Empire State Building. Ghosts can catch you off guard. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by 123Darla. That's what this one did in footage filmed at the Redditor's cousin's house. The scary video shows the door shut all on its own, but it's not just that it shuts. It's how it shuts. The door pulls slowly to a close, but when it's open, just a crack. It hesitates, then pulls open a bit before slamming shut. <laughs> According to the Redditor, this had been happening to her cousin for a few days, which is why they were recording. Some in the comments think it might have been caused by a pressure change in the house. Others think it's obviously paranormal activity. Which side are you on? I think either way we're witnessing something mysterious here. A creepy myth surrounds this old tunnel in the middle of the forest. Published by Looter8 Treasure Hunter in July of 2021, the YouTuber explores the haunted screaming tunnel at Niagara Falls. Once inside the creepy tunnel, the uploader attempts to summon the ghost of a young girl who, legend has it, passed away inside this tunnel years prior. He lights a match and asks the girl to blow it out. The flame immediately disappears. There's a ghost here of a little girl. Blow this out. Oh, look. Oh. Oh. That mean there's a ghost here? Using thermal imaging, the father and son don't witness any others in the tunnel, but they wonder if the young girl blew out the flame. Was she there? I guess we'll never know. There's, wait, wait. Oh, there's Tyler. Yeah, I know. There's, <laughs> there's glasses on. If there's a ghost of a little girl in here, show yourself on our thermal imaging camera. Alright, I don't see anything. This creepy footage captures Alex's poltergeist in action. In an additional video published by Gotiko Alex 2 in October of 2017, a static camera captures the light turning on in the kitchen by itself. This is followed by a second light turning on and the kitchen door closing. You can hear some noises in the next room. But it's not clear what that is. The camera keeps adjusting, though it's not out of focus. After a while of this, suddenly the camera is thrown to the floor. What is in this house with him? Will this horror story continue? Most in the comments think it's only begun. A mysterious incident occurred in a small shop in the UK. Published by Vivat 6205 in July of 2013, this shop attendant better watch his back. The short CCTV footage shows a product on the shelf behind him floating out from its spot to hang into thin air. It stays there mid-air while another product on the opposite shelf falls from its spot. The man hears it and turns to look, and the floating object too falls to the ground. But don't worry, the world isn't ending. Where is this thing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what is that? This is flowing, I don't know, I don't know. Oh my god, that looks like a poster bug or something like that. You know, the thing, you know what I hear? The uploader explains in the comments that this is CCTV footage capturing paranormal activity in a Whitstable shop. This was the first glimpse of a new show, The Happenings, on Watch Channel. The Happenings is a British show in which a pair of illusionists attempt to fool unsuspecting residents around the UK and the US by making the unbelievable believable. So it appears this incident is nothing more than a TV promo. 
talk about a disappointing conclusion to this story. This man's parents' apartment is haunted by poltergeists. Published by Gotigo Alex 2 in June of 2017, the uploader thinks that the spirits are aware of being caught on camera. Here he shows the aftermath of what he calls a hurricane in his home. The spirits turned over many expensive electronics and other large furniture, including televisions, shelves, chairs, tables, microwaves, and more. What could have caused this but pure evil? Gotiko Alex writes, I managed to see who is hiding behind the screen of lawlessness, and he ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers next. Thank you.